Hopi. Welcome to another segment of Raw Hope. This is our mascot and production assistant, Phoebe. She's going to be helping us out today. And today we're going to talk about one of my most favorite fruits of all time, but I have many favorites, but today's favorite is the pomegranate. It's an extremely healthy fruit. It's delicious. It's very, very nutrient dense, and we'll talk about that a little bit further as we go on. But what we're going to do today is make a fruit salad showcasing the pomegranate. And you'll notice I'm wearing a white shirt because I want to show that it's easy enough to open a pomegranate without actually winding up wearing all the juice on your clothes. So we'll get started. So here we have a pomegranate. And right now they're still in season. Um, this is We're going to make a fruit salad that was developed by our good friend Becky Hildebrand and she developed this fruit salad to showcase different um, mm -hmm. fall ingredients. She would normally make this fruit salad with persimmons but unfortunately I'm kind of on the very cusp of the season and it's hard to find persimmons so what I'm doing instead is substituting pear but it's still it's a very simple salad to make. It's really delicious and it's refreshing. So we're going to get started opening our pomegranate. You'll notice that the pomegranate has a little crown type arrangement on the top. And what we're going to do is just cut that crown off first. And then what we're going to do is we're going to score the circumference of the pomegranate all the way around crosswise so that it's divided into four segments. Okay, so I've got one serrated knife uh, cut in, in circumference, and then I'm going to do the same thing going crosswise. And then, facing the crown part away from myself so I don't get splattered, I'm just going to gently pull the sections apart. So, so far no splatters, no splashes anywhere. And then what you do, we have some already done, but what you do is you gently roll the little pieces out. They're called arrows, and they're extremely nutrient dense, as I mentioned before. Everybody knows about the fact that pomegranates have a lot of antioxidants in them. They're very healthy for you. But what a lot of people also don't know is that pomegranates have something called estrone, which is a phytoestrogen. It's a precursor for estrogen. They're very healthy for um, especially postmenopausal women or pregnant women or even men who have hormonal imbalances. Eating pomegranates regularly in your diet can help you with that. And I was at the, the health food store the other day and somebody was asking for acai juice because acai is like this new trendy thing that everybody's drinking because they heard that it's very high in antioxidants just like the pomegranate. But the thing about acai juice is that it's not fresh, it's a processed juice. You're not eating the berries, whole berries as a wholesome food. The pomegranate, you can eat it as is, right off the tree. So it's fresher, it's less degraded, and you're getting the full amount of nutrients. It hasn't, you know, been shipped in, in transit from a faraway place. Uh, we grow them now in the United States, so there's, there's a huge um, amount of pomegranate growth now in California, and they're very easy to come by now. So it's something that if you have a choice between something that you can eat that's very high in antioxidants, you're better off picking a pomegranate than going and searching for some exotic acai juice or something of that nature that has been trucked from some exotic country and costs a lot of money and also is not as fresh. So basically you get the idea here. This is very easy to do. You just use a gentle touch. You use the tips of your fingers and just gently roll the little arrows out. So now that we've gotten the idea. And also I just wanted to mention that they also make these little convenient packs of ready shelled pomegranate arrows that you can find in a lot of stores. I don't recommend these at all. They're not as fresh. Um, they tend to be slightly mushed and, and um, they tend to have a lot of juice or water kind of soaking for a while. And they're just, they're not as fresh, they don't taste as good, they tend to taste a little more sour, a little tart. 
So whenever you have the opportunity, if you can have a fresh pomegranate, that's always preferable. So now we're going to make our salad. Uh, we're going to use the pomegranate arrows. And then I mentioned before that we're using red donju pears because we didn't have persimmons available. But this is another fall winter fruit that's available seasonally that tastes really good in this particular salad. And then also we're using a ripe banana and this is perfectly ripe and the way I know that is because it has these little brown sugar spots all over the skin. So that's the perfect time to eat it. It's going to taste really good. And then to top it off, we have some freshly ground cinnamon. And this really gives it a great flavor. It's going to taste almost like an apple pie with all the ingredients mixed together. And I recommend freshly ground cinnamon. There's a lot of um, cinnamon that comes in these little grinding containers so you can get it really fresh instead of those little metal cans that are, are pre-ground for you. And I would have done better to use a little bit larger bowl, but that'll have to be for next time segment. So this is our finished product. You can see all the beautiful colors. If you try it with persimmons, it looks really nice too because you'll get that orangey sunset glow. But it's really pretty. The little red pomegranate arrows are showing through. And every time you bite into one, you get like a burst of juice in your mouth. It's really delicious. And our producer, Gotti, tried some and he said it was very good. So I recommend you try this. It's very easy to make. There's only three ingredients, four if you count the cinnamon, and it's so healthy for you. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Raw Hope. As you can see, my shirt is unstained. Phoebe is unstained. And thank you for helping us with that experiment, Phoebe. And we'll catch you again next time for the next episode of Raw Hope. Have a good day.